why I've decided to come public with something that's so private for me is because I want people to understand that not only did I hit rock bottom, I hit rock bottom like 20 times. Lisa is finally setting the record straight about the evils in Hollywood and how it destroyed her, and she's coming through with all the receipts. Lisa went from being the ultimate it girl in Hollywood to being a crazy, raging drug addict with no career and no money. However, she's back and spilling major tea about how she was manhandled and blacklisted from Hollywood. But why did Hollywood despise her so much? And why she ain't fight back? Let's get into it. And, um an episode in, in New York at a hotel and it got leaked out. Okay, so it's no secret that Hollywood is one of the most toxic industries ever. Like, yeah, they make a lot of money and have a ridiculous amount of fame, but there isn't a single day that passes that we don't hear about all of the awful things our favorite entertainers are made to go through. From being forced to sign shady contracts, to getting blackmailed, and sometimes even forced to indulge in satanic rituals for fame, the stories are endless. And while all that is bad, I think the worst one so far was Lisa. Not only did Hollywood take her career from her, but they ruined her personal life and destroyed her image forever. I mean, she wasn't a mega superstar or anything, but she definitely had a good thing going for her. Even outside of the movie roles, she was known for good hair and her curvaceous body. And she's doing very okay. well. I just wanna take this time to really? take off my hat because I've been given specific instructions to take off my no, hat. You and to show America that this is no weave. Oh, so okay. please stop writing me the letters, asking me if this is, go ahead, feel deep, dig But this is a piece right here. No, 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 it ain't. <laughs> no, it ain't. But after what happened to her, her reputation was completely ruined and nobody wanted to do anything with her. Okay, so Lisa made a name for herself after her appearance in shows like Love Jones, Jason's Lyric, and ER. She later snatched the role of Renee Raddick in the award-winning TV show Ally McBeal. And for a long time, she had everything. But then her career started going downhill not too long after she went mainstream when rumors started going around about her performing inappropriate acts with a dog. Apparently, Lisa performed an inappropriate act with a dog for a movie role after a director had demanded her to do it in order to properly score the movie she was desperate for. But get this, he basically laughed in her face and denied her the role after she did it. I honestly don't know how much of this is true, but this has been the rumor for years. If it is true, I personally don't think that the director ever wanted to give her that role to begin with. He just wanted to humiliate her and clearly it worked. Her reputation went down the drain and she quickly went from being Lisa with the good hair to being Lisa the weirdo who does inappropriate things with animals. She was getting cut from movie roles and fans started to treat her differently. The media was not too kind, and there were multiple articles degrading her. The New York Post even had the audacity to put up this filthy article about her with the headline, Allie star went psycho. And as if this wasn't bad enough, her mental health also came under question when she started showing signs of bipolar disorder. She reportedly had multiple nervous breakdowns on and off set. Lisa knew she needed to get help, but tried to keep her illness on the down low because she knew that the Things were only gonna get worse when her condition became known. Back in the late 90s and 2000s, I was having a series of nervous breakdowns. I had managed to uh, keep it under wraps for a while. In fact, when she became aware of her bipolar condition, a producer on the show told her to check in with a doctor because she was acted out. In a candid interview with Essence Magazine, Lisa said, I've always been full of energy and would be twirling around on sets, but my high spirit moments looked like something else to one of the producers on ER. He had a family history of bipolar disorder and thought I might be exhibiting some of the symptoms. I didn't know what he was talking about or how it could have to me, so I continued on with my life. Now, y'all know most cases of mental health were not openly talked about back then as they are now, so Lisa was put through hell for that. Lisa admitted that she was initially in denial about her condition, but that changed quickly when she had a psychotic episode a year later. Unfortunately for Lisa, someone who was present leaked this info to the press before she even had time to get herself the help she really needed. She was quoted saying, a year later, I was in New York City catching up with loved ones when I unexpectedly 
unexpectedly had a fit in my hotel, yelling, throwing things, crying, and raising enough hell that the staff had to call an ambulance. I ended up being hospitalized for weeks and a psychiatrist gave me a diagnosis of bipolar disorder. I was stunned and clueless. She later admitted that even with her diagnosis, she was still in denial and refused to accept any kind of help that came her way. Lisa said during an interview with Essence Magazine, I don't wanna believe I had any mental health issues and went into denial. I was supposed to take medicine and I didn't. I was behaving in an odd way that um, brought it to the attention of someone I was working with. I was told that I was bipolar. There were attempts to treat me, but I was in complete denial. And as you can already guess, her condition only got worse and her psychotic episodes got more explosive and self-destructive. She eventually decided to check herself into a rehab facility, but the tabloids were not holding back and were being absolutely ruthless with their headlines. And after her hospital stay, when she went back to her role on Ally McBeal, she was fired without any valid reason. But Lisa believes that it was all of the negative press. She says, upon being discharged, I returned to Los Angeles and went back to work on Ally McBeal, feeling more in control. Everyone on the show was wonderful to me, but my contract wasn't renewed for the final season and nobody gave an explanation, but I assumed it had to do with what happened. I was devastated. So to recap, now she's jobless, broke, and has a ruined reputation. Despite all of her attempts to get back into the industry, she just kept getting pushed back and eventually packed up and moved out of LA. She later revealed that this whole situation took a really big toll on her career and mental health. She said, once my episode became public, I was torn apart in the press, which really hurt. Up to that point, I had led a charmed life in show business. But see, despite her mental illness being a leading factor in her decline, sources also say Lisa was a real raging drug addict who used to pop multiple different pills and substances every single day. Lisa also felt like her managers and agents didn't fight hard enough for her. Like, yeah, she was self-destructive, but she also had a lot of people coming for her. And the least they could have done was fight for her. Instead, they watched her get kicked to the curb and allow Hollywood to tarnish her legacy. Now, after she left Hollywood, there were some questions about where she was, but a blind item revealed some time ago that she was working as a waitress in a restaurant. The blind item was quoted saying, at first I thought she looked familiar. I finally asked her and I was right. And then came the question of how did someone who was on the cover of magazines and go on a hit network television show and one of the most famous men in the world as her boyfriend go from all that to being a hostess at a burger joint? Now, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with being a waitress, okay? But the fact that her career just declined so much that she went from being a TV darling to working as a waitress just puts into perspective about how much she was really screwed over. I don't look at my life as tragic. I look at my life as miraculous. But this is the sad reality of Hollywood. It uses people until there's nothing left to give and throws them away. Now this got a lot of people talking, like this one person who said, the utter disgusting audacity of dysfunctional and abusive Hollyweird dismissing anyone because of a disorder? <laughs> Prayers for Lisa. Hope she has the comfort and confidence to pursue whatever she wants. Another person added, she was a very desired actress sexually and those roles she owned flawlessly. One thing I've seen is how the industry will typecast you and some of those shadows you can't recover from. I hate she had to go through what she went through though. But now I wanna know your thoughts. How do you feel about the industry blackballing Lisa and throwing her to the curb? And what do you think about her getting shamed for her poor mental health. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and don't forget to click here to watch this other messy video.